Hey guys, I'm Jason with Servo City, and in this tech tip video, I wanted to talk about Cat6 servo extension boards. We have two different models, both boosted and non-boosted, and I wanted to show you a few different setups showing you how and why you would use these. So in this top example here, I'm using one of our dual uh, servo manual servo drivers um, here to send a signal to my servo. Um, and as you can see, in between, I have this Cat6 cable. Now, uh, why would you want to use this? Um, well, one of the main reasons would be to extend the length um, further than you could use standard servo wire for it. And also, it helps clean it up. You can send up to four different um, servo signals through here and you'll have uh, a much cleaner looking setup and so since this first model of servo controller does not have cat6 as an output we're using this non-boosted board to basically act as a breakout board to uh, get that signal into the cat6 cable and then we have a second setup here um, using our higher end model of the dual servo controller uh, with manual controls and that has a cat6 output built in so uh, this particular board would be useful not only if you're using this controller um, but also if you're using any other servo signal whether that be an rc receiver or an arduino or raspberry pi or anything like that um, these boards on the end are the boosted ones and it's going to take that signal and clean it up for you after it's traveled the distance and you have multiple mounting options with these. These are the one and a half inch uh, hole pattern and the board is 1.32 inches across so it'll fit nicely inside of your channel as well. Next I wanted to talk about the power supply options. Um, you can either pass in power from where your signal is originally coming from like I am in this particular case here but you can also power it from the two power pins on the non-boosted side if you're using the non-boosted board at the beginning or the boosted side at the end which in some cases uh, would be even more ideal because you're, you're going to draw more amps from the servo than you are from the electronics. Now if you're using a higher voltage servo and you want to have a different power supply for your servo than your electronics you can actually pull this pin here and you can supply a different voltage to the servo through these auxiliary uh, power pads. Here you can solder in a screw terminal or just some wires and supply that higher voltage to your servo.